Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to look into how to create a record edit form and we are going to learn more about record edit form. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So if you have checked in the previous video, what we did was we created multiple input fields and we took the input from each of this field and created an account. Now the problem with this approach is that Every time I create a lightning input field, I have to create a respective variable to capture the value of that field. So if you ever, if you would have checked, if it was a name of the account, I have to create an account name variable and I need to capture that account name inside this handle click button. But every time, if I have more than let's say 500 or let's say at least 10 to 15 fields, I have to create 10 to 15 variables. And if after that, things will go completely wrong because you have to create multiple variables for each of this input field. Now, in order to solve this problem, we can use a record edit form. If we know that we have to create a form on a particular object, in that cases, you can use record edit form. So let's quickly create a record edit form. Yeah. Record edit form we'll do it is exposed include css svg and then we will add it to the record page home page every page that we want to i'll just deploy it now our record edit form is created in the previous video we had multiple fields right but they were all related to only one object that is an account object. We have to create an account at the end. Same way, now if I want to create a account or let's say contact objects uh, record uh, using a form in LWC, we can use record edit form in that case. So I'll create a quickly create a lightning record edit form. As you can see, a lightning record edit form is created. This is the opening tag of lightning record edit form and this is the closing tag of lightning record edit form and these are all nothing but the input fields that have been provided inside this lightning input uh, lightning record edit form. So as you can see lightning record edit form have multiple parameters. I am going to remove this and we are going to learn more about this uh, parameters in the pre in the future videos but right now let's understand what this object API name means. Now let's say you want to create a form for a particular object like contact or for an account for case or something like that if you have to create an form for a particular object in that cases that particular object api name should be provided over here in case if it was a custom object i would have written contact underscore underscore c so basically i have to use a api name inside this object api name parameter because i want to create a form of contact once you have done that whatever uh, object name you have provided the respective fields must be provided inside this lightning input field so lightning input field and the field name inside this field name parameter you have to provide the api name of your fields like first name last name birth date phone level underscore underscore c all these are nothing but the api name of the fields present inside the contact object so if would, if i would have done it account i have to provide the account fields api name in order to in order to uh, make this record edit form work so right now as my object API name is contact, I'm going to provide the API name of contact, uh, API name of the contact in this uh, record edit form. Now once that is done, once I've provided all the lighting input fields, next thing is to create the button. In order to submit the form, we need a button as well, right? So we have also created a button which is of type submit. The type of the button should be always submit in order to create a record. The one thing good about record edit form is that you don't need to write an API class to create the record in record edit form. So in the previous videos, if you had checked, I've, I had created a button and on the click of the button, we had to make an imperative call to an apex. If you would have checked, we had made, made an imperative call to an apex in order to create an account. But over here, if you are using record edit form, you don't need to make any kind of imperative call. Without imperative call, the record will be created. In short, we don't need any kind of apex call to create a record. So if you would have checked the record edit form js part, I'm not writing any logic inside it. Okay, I'm going to create and I'm going to deploy this component. Now once this component is deployed, I'm going to put it inside the home page.
so recorded edit form is available over here I'm going to drag it drag and drop it at the bottom of this so recorded edit form is dropped below the assistant part I've saved it and now if I refresh the page I should be able to see the recorded edit form so as you can see I have recorded it from a variable the button says update record I don't want to update the record I want to create the record so I want to use create record so now what's going to happen is I have to fill up all the details inside this form and once I click on this create record automatically without even making an apex call my contact record will be created so i'm going to do it salesforce in five minutes and let's keep a date as today phone number as four five six seven eight and level as secondary salesforce in five minutes 13 november i'm going to keep it 13th november so that we can understand it was created today so once i click on the create record if i go to this contact tab as you can see my contact is successfully created with that recorded edit form 13 November 2 12 a.m. because of GMT time zone but it is 13th November so name is this and phone number is this and uh, everything is working fine so this is how you can use record edit form the best part and the key points to highlight inside the record edit form as form is that once you create a record edit form whatever uh, objects uh, field or whatever objects form you have to create you have to provide the object api name over here once you do that whatever fields that you want if you want more fields you can also add more fields by copy pasting and just providing the api name inside this field name uh, parameter once you have done that you have to create a lightning button but point to be noted is that the type of the button should be submit so if it is not submit it won't create the record once that is done all you have to do is you have to deploy our lightning web component and once you do the form is ready to create the records without making any apex call or writing any js code so this is how you use record edit form in lwc if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel